Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the second week of December read start from the 8th through the 14th of December 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn and uh, I will be adding oracle cards, color cards and messages from your person in this reading plus we will also be adding some soul messages for you as well so stay tuned and before i dive into the read capricorn let me remind you it's a general read it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so yeah let's dive into the read and let's find out what is heading for you in this week time let's begin capricorn two of wands ace of wands wow Six of Swords. Beautiful. And in the deck, we do have the world. Now, I really feel like, you know, this week is going to be the time when you are going to be setting a lot of goals for yourself. Uh, you are going to be like, you know, uh, deciding what do you desire in your life and how do you need to take steps towards it? How do you need to take action towards it? You are very clear about what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. Uh, and you are very passionate about exploring different things for yourself, setting new goals for yourself to achieve. And you are very excited to pursue those goals as well. You, you are not just setting it or you're not just like, you know, writing it down. You're just taking action as well. So I really feel like you are very motivated to take some, you know, new, um, to choose to go a new direction or new uh, horizon for yourself. I feel like, you know, this is exactly... Um, you know, which is going to make you feel more passionate about your life, excited about your life. Um, I really feel like, you know, uh, whatever has happened, has happened in your life. I feel like you are taking, um, you know, you're ready to take some fresh, uh, you know, start for yourself. Um, probably for some of you, you are, are going to choose to uh, relocate yourself as well or at least travel for some time away from where you're living because you really want to explore the world you really want to explore how different things for yourself so you are going to feel very adventurous in the month of uh, in the in the second week of uh, the month of December as well as I really feel like you are excited to go about your life uh, with different passion now renewed passion i would say for those of you who have been like you know are kind of indecisive kind of like low because something was not working well for you in your life i feel like you know this week is going to be the time where you are going to kind of like you know give yourself some reasons to be excited for so i really feel like you're not dependent on other people you are dependent on yourself right now for your excitement for happiness for joy uh, energy is entering in your life. So I really see you very excited to go about your life now. Uh, for some of you, I really see that could be that somebody could be traveling towards you or maybe you are going to travel towards someone as well in this week time because I really see some sort of travel energies coming up for you. Now, if you are not planning a travel or something like that, maybe there is a person in your life who's going to travel towards you. Uh, probably it's somebody that you completely don't know about. It can be somebody from the past as well. It can be somebody that you are dealing with as well. But I really feel like, you know, this, this new that I see coming in your life is going to be like you know something beautiful um, let's see more cards here okay I feel like you know for those of you who have been disappointed in love um, this week is going to be the time and you're gonna set some uh, new goals for your love life as well I feel like you know you're not gonna let your past experience uh, make you feel low and down for more you are going to pick yourself up from that situation and move forward to in a new direction opening yourself up to meet new people to be with new people probably you are going to choose your new direction for your career path probably you are relocating because you really don't want to connect to anything that was to do with your past and you are moving in a new direction for yourself and i feel like you know no matter maybe you still have love for the past person or past situation but still you are picking up yourself from there you're not going to stick around that situation which is kind of like you know making you feel low or sad and you you feel like you know you have you know better things to do in your life and i really don't see you kind of stuck at all in your love life situation which was not working well for you so i really see you moving on um moving past the sadness that you probably dealt with and you are heading in the right direction towards uh you know focusing on your other dreams and desires and goals um for some of you i really feel like you know there will be opportunities coming your way as you choose a different and new path for yourself and your life i feel like you know you will be having more people coming towards you more uh, you know relationships opening up to you but at the same time i feel like you know, it's very important right now for you to um 
take yourself out of uh, the sadness that you probably are in and you will see transform uh, your, your life is going to transform in a major way uh, the stress that you probably would be taking right now would be uh, would be uh, taken away from you for sure uh, as you as you make certain decisions of your life uh, in this week time so I really see for majority of you you are going to set some new goals for yourself and you are gonna be like making some major decisions in your love life probably of leaving a person who was non committer towards um, something who you could um, who you could rely upon emotionally and uh, you know who you could uh, like you know from for some of you probably you are gonna call in your soulmate you are gonna open yourself up to somebody new who, who could be your soulmate maybe the one that you're dealing with is not the one so you are gonna open yourself up to that as well during this week time let's see some oracle messages for you higher self connect with the gateway to your soul and breathe deep I feel like it is very important uh, for a majority of you to spend some time uh, with yourself during this week time especially if you are taking some major decisions in your life uh, divine really want you to kind of like you know have your time spent with yourself because when you do that when you connect with your higher self when you connect with your soul uh, you are going to have a lot of clarity around what do you desire and you can definitely make some goals for yourself then uh, based on that because I feel like you know uh, you are you and you need to take major decisions of your life based on your needs and your desires rather than off uh, thinking about like you know who is going to suit who what and you know stuff like that so the divine really wants you to kind of like you know have some time with yourself figure things out for yourself and then intend whatever it is that you want pray around whatever it is that you desire and that's the way to go about it let's see more oracle guidance here willpower improve your willpower to reduce your stress stress levels now i feel like you know for majority of you the divine really wants you to kind of like you know one thing whatever you choose to do stick around that know that you can do that know that you have the power to do so don't let your stress get the best of you or the situation whatever you choose to do you have the power to do it you cannot say that oh maybe i cannot do that i really want that i really wish for this but then i i don't think i can do that you choose you decide and then you stick to it and that's the way to go about it so make sure that you are improving your willpower right now um and once you make a choice make a decision of your life stick to that believe in that feed that nurture that belief of yours that's the way you're gonna go for for whatever it is that you're going for during this week time even if it's a love life decision that you are taking that you have to then you have to have a faith around it that yes whatever decision you have taken it's definitely going to head you forward towards the kind of life that you desire so again even if you are calling in your soul me just don't limit yourself by thinking like no maybe i will never be lucky in love and this and that no you set your goal you believe you're far and that's how you get it let's see what is your soul's message for you what is it that your soul really wants you to know what is it that your soul really wants you to know right now what am i grateful for so your soul wants you to ask this question to yourself right now as you spend some time with yourself ask this beautiful question to yourself what am i grateful for right now adopt an abundant mindset gratitude is the antidote to all your problems it is impossible to be grateful and fearful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action, the universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives on which we are focused. So close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful today. Notice the abundance growing within you. So this is something that you can do every single day to to, to kind of like you know enhance this, uh, um, enhance and adopt this uh, abundance mindset because this is very important. Um, and again, when you start believing um, that something beautiful that you desire is going to come through, it will come through. But if you allow your fear to get stronger, it's just going to mess things up. So it's very important right now for you to know that whatever you want, whatever you desire, you can definitely have it. Again, you need to have the willpower to ask for whatever it is that you desire and you will be given that ex exact thing let's see what color is going to be significant for you for this week time what color is going to be significant or lucky for you for this week time is your protect yourself 
uh, number 36 so this shade of blue is going to be lucky for you uh, 36 could be a significant number for you for some of you it could be age 36 or your person could be age 36 as well but I really feel like you know it's time for you to protect yourself from um, any any um, you know any uh, negative thought that you probably would be having around your life overall you just need to not cater anything negative for now and try to keep yourself positive try to keep yourself uh, in that faith uh, and in that gratitude state which keeps your heart at peace and um, yeah let's see what is it that your person probably would be wanting to say to you where it is that you're dealing with new person boss person somebody that you are interested in let's see what do they want to say to you even though i really feel like you are going to be very focused on yourself right now probably you are leaving somebody behind but whatever the case is let's see what is it the message of your person right now it can be a new person coming in your life as well it can be a message from a future you know person as well uh for you let's see what it is I wish I could talk, uh, sorry, I wish I could take back my words. So somebody is uh, unhappy for what they said to you. Probably they wish to kind of like, you know, take the words back and probably want to fix something with you. Let's see more cards here. I left when I saw you with someone. I feel like, you know, for some of you, there could have been like some sort of misunderstanding between you and your specific someone, which they now regret. Um, I wish I could share my good news with you. Somebody really wants to talk to you, but they're probably... Uh, the ego is stopping them or probably either one of you could have blocked each other on uh, on uh, social media and stuff so probably they even if they want to reach out they're kind of holding themselves back from doing so I want marriage for some of you probably whoever it is that uh, this person is probably they are gonna share a news of them getting married or something with you uh, but whatever the case is probably they want you to know that they are ready for marriage or maybe for some of you Maybe that's what it is um, Maybe you know the moment you decided that you want to move on or something probably that's the moment when they felt like you know Resolving the issues that you had and probably they would want you to kind of like you know get married to them Or maybe it's a message from the new person that is going to enter in your life who would want you to get married to them I mean the deck we do have I don't think I ever loved anyone like this So again, it can be a message from a new person as well. It can be a message from the past person as well well but whatever the case is i really see that there is somebody out there who's in love with you and they would want to get married to you so uh yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe and yeah till i do the next read for you guys take care and bye